Welcome to our lecture online and the seven, the last of the seven methods to solve linear equations is called the method of determinants. And the way that works is again, you take your two equations, the same one we've been using, and you rewrite them in this format, just like with matrices. You want to write as the x term, the y term, and then equals to the constant on the right side. Notice that when we bring the y across to the other side, we get 2x minus y. The minus 5 to this side becomes plus 5, and then we switch the equation around, we get this. And here we simply put the minus y on the other side, we get x plus y equals 4. Once you do that, then you set up three what we call determinants. So we take the coefficients on the x and y, and we place them in the first determinant. Then we take the two constants right here, and replace the two coefficients in front of the x by these two constants. So instead of 2, we get 5. Instead of 1, we get 4, right, like this. And then you leave the coefficients of the y, the y, co the y um, values, or the um, y terms. You keep those coefficients the same, minus 1 and 1. That gives you your second determinant. And then the third determinant is, is found by taking the 5 and the 4, the two constants, and replacing the coefficients in front of the y's. And so the negative 1, 1 become now 5 and 4 and you leave the coefficient from the x alone like that. So those are your three determinants. Now how do you solve determinants? Well the determinant is solved by multiplying these two terms on the diagonal, so 2 times 1, and subtracting from that when you multiply these two uh, terms. So that would be a minus 1 and a 1. So in this case that would be 2 minus a minus 1, which is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So the first determinant is equal to 3. The second, we do the same thing. So this is equal to the product of those two, which is 5 times 1, minus the product of those two, which is a minus 1 times 4. So this becomes 5 minus a minus 4, which is 5 plus 4, which is 9. Now we get the, the third determinant. So this is equal to 2 times 4 minus the product of those two, which is 5 times 1. So this is equal to 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. Now we know that the x value can be found by taking the determinant a divided by the determinant d, and the y value can be found by taking the determinant b and divided by the determinant d. So a, uh, x then becomes a, which is 9, divided by d, which is 3, which is equal to 3, and the y value is b, which is 3, divided by d, which is 3, which is equal to 1. And so therefore the solution, the x, y, the coordinates of the point where the two lines cross is equal to 3 and 1. And that's how we do that with determinants. Pretty slick.